I'm actually getting a feed from my Fest 5 into my Atmos recorder and I'm feeding it into the wireless transmitter, which is then going to the Sumo. Ben, should we go for this? I'm sure we're doing adverts. Action. I'm reporting on my camera on S-Log3 sgamma.cine. That's wireless retransmitter to here. Sony S-Log3 sgamma3.cine. One of the great things about the Atmos is that the display makes it very easy to see your images even when the sun is shining in the middle of the afternoon. The Atom HDR tool has this handy slide. As you slide it, you move from 100% of SDR, i.e. Rec. 709, and it goes up showing you the stops above standard dynamic range. You can also press the Auto HDR, which will automatically set the percentage to best represent what the finished HDR image will look like. This tool is also great if you're shooting in standard Rec. 709. As you slide up and down, you can see into the shadows and highlight areas to check exposure. I'm going to guide you through some of the LUTs I've preloaded on here. There is an SSD slot here, but it's not for recording, it is for loading up LUTs. So I've loaded up three right now. We're setting up a wireless connection here. I'm going to be on the Ronin, on my A7S, and we're going to be transmitting to the Sumo. And that's great, so you know, the director here is going to be able to monitor exactly what I'm doing. A great feature is that we have this tracking shot and we can use the inbuilt magnification on the Atomos to zoom into the image and make sure the focus was pulled correctly. I love how durable it is. We're going from location to location, taking it in and out of the case several times in the day. I'm totally confident about the way I'm transporting it, the way I'm holding it. So the good thing about the power is that I know I can take this battery out because it's run out and then pop another one in and it's still running from the other battery. So I can swap the batteries. And also it's got an option for DCN. Sumo M is able to cross convert an SDI signal going in and a HDMI coming out or a HDMI coming in and an SDI going out to be able to connect other monitors downstream. We were able to take the Sumo from the set into the studio. One of the best things about it is that the monitor could be used in post-production as well. The Sumo M overall was a fantastic grading monitor. I was able to see all the colours accurately, being able to use the histogram, the vector scope and even false colour whilst grading. I think the Sumo 19M transformed our shoot. Having a larger monitor on set really helped us achieve and set up the best shots we could get. And the way we were able to take it into our studio and set it up as an editing monitor was very helpful. <laughs>